What's up guys? So we're testing out the Sigma 56, but you can see there's some vignetting going on because this is actually on a full frame Sony camera. It almost has full frame coverage and it's a straight up 56 millimeter. You don't have to add that crop number in. It looks pretty good. Like if you just crop in just a little bit, you could totally use this on a full frame camera. Looks pretty good. It's a really sharp lens. I mean, autofocus seems to be pretty good. We're at 1.8, so we can actually stop down more. Oh, all right, there we go. There we go, now we're at 1.4. <laughs> yeah, I like this lens. I like this. Imagine this cropped in 1.5 times and that's what it would look like on a crop sensor camera. But yeah, I mean, that's a pretty nice looking lens. Test the autofocus really fast. Okay guys, today I'm gonna to talk about my hand. Oh, there it is. So yeah, I'm gonna be testing this out on the uh, the ZVE-10 in a video soon. So you'll be able to see this on a crop sensor body and you'll be able to see it on something that's even newer than the A7C, which we're on right now. But yeah, that looks good. I'm excited about this lens. I mean, I've had this lens on other camera systems. There's old videos doing some street photography with a Canon camera with this lens, but yeah, I'm excited to make some YouTube videos with this. Let's see the close focusing. I'm about a foot away. Yeah, this thing is nice. Nice portrait lens, nice, nice YouTube lens. I think the 56 is probably the best Sigma lens as far as the trio. It's sharp, it's like, it's perfect bokeh, perfect portrait lens, but yeah, it's a Sigma 56. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I've got uh, some interesting crop sensor videos coming soon. Some more reviews, so stay tuned for that. And check out all my old videos. Just hit the subscribe button. And thanks for watching.